as we celebrate the 24th Sunday in Ordinary Time. On this Catechetical Sunday, we ask God's blessings because we all teach about Christ by the way we live our lives. Our celebrant for this Mass is Father Dennis Carnero, assisted by Deacon Dan Georgian. Today, let us remember in our prayers Mary Jane Paycheck, Frank Gagliano, Evelyn Leonella, and Charlie Marion. In reverence to the liturgy, please check that you have silenced your cell phone and opened your heart to God's grace. Thank you. Please stand and join us in singing our opening song, which we found on page 839, as we gather at your table, page 839. Jesus, you're the Son who reveals the love of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you are the Messiah who frees us of sin. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Son who offers your life that we may have life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting.
us pray. Look upon us, O God, creator and ruler of all things, and that we may feel the working of your mercy, grant that we may serve you with all our heart. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. those who plucked my beard. My face I did not shield from buffets and spitting. The Lord God is my help, therefore I am not disgraced. I have set my face like flint, knowing that I shall not be put to shame. He is near who upholds my right. If anyone wishes to oppose me, let us appear together. Who disputes my right? Let that man confront me. See, the Lord God is my help. Who will prove me wrong? The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our song can be found in your gather book on page 78. Our blessing cup, page 78.
A reading from the letter of St. James. What good is it, my brothers and sisters, if someone says he has faith but does not have works? Can that faith save him? If a brother or a sister has nothing to wear and has no food for the day, and one of you says to them, go in peace, keep warm, and eat well, but you do not give them the necessities of the body, what good is it? So also faith of itself. If it does not have works, is dead. Indeed, someone might say, you have faith and I have works. Demonstrate your faith to me without works, and I will demonstrate my faith to you from my works. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. by the elders, the chief priests, and the scribes, and be killed and rise after three days. He spoke this openly. Then Peter took him aside and began to rebuke him. At this he turned around and looking at his disciples rebuked Peter and said, Get behind me, Satan. You are thinking not as God does, but as human beings do. He summoned the crowd with his disciples and said to them, Whoever wishes to come after me must deny himself, take up his cross, and follow me. For whoever wishes to save his life will lose it. But whoever loses his life for my sake and that of the gospel will save it. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. As was announced at the opening, this Sunday we have Catechetical Sunday. In other words, each of us, baptized Christian Catholics, confirmed in our faith, we are all called to be catechists, sharing the good news with our brothers and sisters. From the very beginning, God had revealed to the human people God's plan and God had gifted the human people the gift of intelligence and understanding. It is for us to use that gift of intelligence and understanding to understand God's word, make it part of our lives and share it with our brothers and sisters. That's the plan that God has for us. It is for us to execute that plan. In today's gospel passage we see Jesus with his apostles wants to really 
affirm from them after the few weeks of living with Jesus, sharing the good news, understanding what Jesus was doing, and sharing in all the good acts that Jesus did. Now, Jesus would like to know first, what do people say that I am? And the apostles thought and said, some John the Baptist, some Elijah, still others, one of the prophets. <coughs> In other words, there was a kind of a general kind of understanding that Jesus to the apostles, to the people, was a special person. A person who had the good news and was sharing the good news. However, Jesus wanted to pinpoint a direct question to the apostles, his close friends, whom he had shared his life with and asked them, but who do you say that I am? The others were quiet, but Peter, he said, you are the Christ. Now I wonder whether Peter really understood the power of that statement. You are the Christ. And Jesus was kind of surprised and said, it's not the human person that is revealing it to you. It is the Holy Spirit who has revealed this to you. Bravo, you are Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church. Today we hear Jesus giving us the real reason for his life on earth. He began to teach them the Son of Man must suffer greatly and be rejected by elders, chief priests and the scribes and be killed and rise after three days. These were Jesus' actions that he was already foreseen. I'm sure the apostles were not too happy about hearing that but Peter was the one who took Peter, took Jesus aside and started telling him, we are here to protect you. Nothing of this can affect you. So Jesus, realizing that this was Satan influencing Peter to be able to take away what he had really come from, for, to suffer, to die, and to resurrect. You and I are similar to Peter in some ways. When it comes to Jesus, we try and see that Jesus is our God, Jesus is our Savior, Jesus is the one who will guide us and lead us. However, we wouldn't like Jesus to be suffering. We wouldn't like Jesus to be killed we would definitely hope that after Jesus dies, he resurrects and gives a new life. You and I are also instructed that if we believe in Jesus, if we believe that Jesus accepted the suffering, Jesus accepted death, and Jesus was rewarded with the resurrection, then you and I have to accept the fact that we are asked, if we believe, to take up our cross, to follow Jesus and accept the suffering, accept the death, because the resurrection is promised us. Let us today have placed our faith in the words of Jesus, that we all are called to be Jesus' disciples. But to be Jesus' disciples, 
we have to deny ourselves, take up our cross, and follow Him. And what follows will, rebel, will remain suffering, death, and resurrection. That is why in the second reading we heard St. James tells us, if we have faith, we need to accept the suffering. There's no faith if there's no action. Action is what follows our faith. Let us today, as we listen to these words of the Gospel and of the first and second reading, we need to be able to recognize that you and I, baptized Christian Catholics, practicing the faith, we need to be able to come together and practice our faith through the suffering, death and resurrection of Jesus. Let us stand and profess our faith. I believe in one God, Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate with the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. And rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead. And his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is the Lord and the Lord of God, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead. of God's grace. Our response is, Thy will be done, O Lord. Thy will be done, O Lord. We pray for the church and for our own parish, that all of our daily deeds and words may bear witness to the faith we profess in our church. For this we pray. Thy will be done, O Lord. We pray for the leaders of nations, for the honest use of power and authority, for cooperation, high-mindedness, and a genuine desire to bring about the good for the poor and rich alike. For this we pray. Thy will be done, O Lord. God's grace and blessings rest upon those who are most vulnerable. For all who are without food or shelter in our country and throughout our world. For the very old and the very young and those yet to be born. For these we pray. Thy will be done, O Lord. For all who struggle with the question, who do you say that I am? May Jesus guide the hearts of all who feel separated from God and whose faith has faded away. For these we pray. Thy will be done, O Lord. On this catechetical Sunday and weekend, may the breath of the Holy Spirit rest upon not only students and teachers, but upon all in our community as we each grow in faith and model our faith for one another. For this we pray. I will be done, Lord. We ask God's blessing upon all who are sick and those who live in the shadow of the cross. For those living with depression, for those struggling with addictions, for all for whom life is difficult. This weekend we pray especially for Robert Imperial. And we ask God's grace on all who care for these. For these we pray. I will be done, O Lord. For our friends and relatives who now peacefully rest in eternal life. May they and their families find comfort in the light of Christ's presence. For these we pray. I will be done, O Lord. We now quietly bring our own personal needs, prayers, and hopes before God.
these we pray. Thy will be done, O Lord. Good and loving God, hear our prayers this day and every day. Keep us close to you and help us to recognize your voice within our hearts through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please join us this evening Open my eyes, page six, five, one. By his rising from the dead, he has opened the way to eternal life. And by ascending to you, O Father, he has unlocked the gates of heaven. And so, with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim.
You are indeed holy, O oh Lord, and all you have, all you have created, rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for all, for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. resurrection and ascension into heaven and as we look forward to his second coming we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice look we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your son and filled with his holy spirit may become one body one spirit in christ may he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation be pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis our Pope, Blaise our Bishop, Dan our Pastor, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed sisters and brothers and to all who are pleasing to you, and their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever.
God, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and saved from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be always with you. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
dear brothers and sisters, since some of us are unable to share the Blessed Sacrament in the same manner as we are accustomed, I invite us to pray an act of spiritual communion along with those that are not here. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Dear friends, these ministers of care will reach out to those who are not able to join us in our celebration here in the church. Please assure them of your prayers and support. Dear ministers of care, this community sends you out to those who are not able to join us. Go with our prayers and support and let them know that they are part of our community as we break bread in this church. Go in peace and thank you for doing this. God bless you. Let us stand and pray. May the working of this heavenly gift, O Lord, we pray, take possession of our minds and bodies so that its effects and not our own desires may always prevail in us through Christ our Lord. My brothers and sisters, the curse of an active parish is that we often have many things happening. So my least favorite words are, please be seated for the announcements. <laughs> Maybe you or someone you know would like to formally enter the Catholic Church through baptism, communion, or confirmation. Our Order of Christian Initiation of Adults, also known as OCIA, is now beginning. You can call Father Rich at the, direct, or at the rectory for further details. The Children's Winter Coat Drive begins next weekend. We will be collecting new coats starting September 21st through October 16th. Please note that this is for children's coats that are new with tags on them. Donation bins will be in the church vestibule, the school office, and the rectory through October 16th. Thank you in, your, in advance for the support of this very important ministry. There are special envelopes as you leave church to contribute to the training of our priests at Mundelein Seminary. Please take an envelope and return it with your donation into the regular collection basket next weekend. Once again, thank you for your support. If you are a young adult in your 20s or 30s, please join other young adults from our parish as we are gathering at Deerfield's Bakery after the 10.30 a.m. Mass tomorrow. If you know someone else who is in their 20s or 30s, please encourage them to also attend. See our bulletin for further details. Our parish international fest is coming upon us quickly. This new parish event of food, music, and fun is on Saturday evening, October 12th. Please see our bulletin for how to make your reservation for this very exciting evening. Members of the Knights of Columbus are outside after Mass for their Tootsie Roll Drive, which supports programs for people with intellectual disabilities. Your support is greatly appreciated by as many Tootsie Rolls as you can eat, and you can even slip one or two of those to me. I like Tootsie Rolls. <laughs> Father, do you like Tootsie Rolls? I do. There you go. On this Catechetical Sunday, we ask God's blessing for not only teachers and students, but also parents, families, and all our community to live the example of faith. Let us now stand together as we ask God's blessing. Glorious God, your gift of faith brings great comfort and direction in our lives. Through the presence of your Son, your overflowing love is revealed to us each and every day. Through the presence of your Holy Spirit, you guide us in our daily lives. Because of the assurance our faith has brought us, we wish our youth to have that same faith. Strengthen us 
to share our faith with them in word and in action. Bless all parents and families to create a Christian atmosphere in our homes that the children may learn by what they experience at home. Bless our catechists that they may share with your, our youth not only the foundation of our faith but also that Christ is the foundation of our lives. Bless all in our parish community that every moment of our lives in you may be an example for our youth to imitate. Bless your children to learn by what they see in us that they may perceive your presence in all we say and do. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in peace. Glorify the Lord by your life. Thank you, God. Please join us in singing our closing song, which will be found on page 557, Send Down the Fire, page 557.